for him. He's not going to have to worry about Maraidon against his opponent, Steven Stark, with his restricted being Calyrex Ice Rider. So, like you said a little bit before, it is a battle of the Ice Riders, and we're getting right into it with the Smeargle leading. You also mentioned that the Smeargle being a little bit of a scary Pokemon, he doesn't want to lose because it does so much for his team. So, interesting to already see it leading out. Yeah, Smeargle is such a crazy, wild tech Pokemon. We're seeing the fake out into the Trick Room. This will be an interesting matchup here. We'll see what happens. Again, these players fighting to get into that top spot. Loser comes in third. The winner goes off to fight Zane in that final spot. And we will have an Ice Rider into the finals. Who will it be? Who will take? Who will ride this frozen horse to victory? At, at the very least, we'll be, we will be seeing one Ice Rider going to the finals. But it might not be ice for very long. Actually, the, the uh, Terrassal Edition coming onto the Smeargle going to make it a grass type. Uh, what's he looking to resist with that? Is that going to be... I mean, you're looking to resist a lot of these strong water type moves. You're looking to resist... Yeah, okay. I forgot that it was two water types on the yeah. field right away. Two water types on the other side of the field looking to block those. Smear going to the fake out into the Pelipper, so the Pelipper blocks that damage. Got we'll see what this... The Urshifu going for that Surging Strikes. Looks like that Smear goal might just barely hang on. Not with a lot. Oh, oh, maybe not. I think that rain boost is too much. Yeah. Smeargle goes down without being able to do much and burning that Terra up. You hate to see that. Might be one of those calculations that you make ahead of time. You know that it can withstand a Surging Strikes, but can it withstand a Surging Strikes in the rain? Something you might not prepare for. No. But the Trick Room does go up, so now Calyrex is in position to start dealing damage and start causing chaos. Blood Moon Ursuna going to come in to take advantage of the Trick Room. We also saw that Urshifu is in the back. So no, we, we are seeing, oh yeah, no, he doesn't have, no Farigraphs here. No Farigraphs yet. You could, what you really could look at it as is that was just a very convoluted Rage Powder. Yes. Uh, on that, uh, on that Smeargle. Just buying one turn for this Calyrex, and it might even just be what he needs. Because assuming um, this single strike Urshifu is running, actually no choice ban, not the Scarf. Wide Guard's going to come out to protect against that Glacial Lance. This is the first time we're seeing that uh, Wide Guard being considered in this um, tournament today. But coming out against the Pelipper, close combat's going to be the choice instead of the Glacial Lance. Blood Moon's going to be a follow-up as well onto the Urshifu, and it's going to be enough to knock it out. Only one bear can stand yeah. all here, and that's going to be Ursaluna. Yeah, Take losing that Urshifu is really impactful. Urshifu is a great counter into Calyrex, and now that Urshifu is gone, we'll have to see who else is in the back who can deal with Calyrex. Calyrex himself. <laughs> Calyrex himself, we see Calyrex into Calyrex. Now it's the question is, who is Calyrex is slower? I think these are both min speed Calyrexes. I'm looking at our data here. Uh, let's see, 94 into 95. Ooh, I think our tense is just a tiny bit slower, but we will see how this plays out. We will see what they do. 94 into 95. That's Very close. Incredible. Uh, close combat. Wow, all right, so we're gonna have to see who's gonna be coming out first here. Either way, you might not be able to get the Glacial Lance. I don't think you even want to. It's gonna be resisted by the Calyrex and it's gonna be neutral to the Pelipper. So you might honestly try to go for something else here. In any case though, Calyrex on the side of uh, Artan, if it gets hit by anything, it's gone because it used that close combat. Yeah. It's already gonna be very exposed to the threats that both these Pokemon have. Wideguard's gonna be committed on the side of uh, Pelipper on Steven Stark. Thankfully for uh, Calyrex, it doesn't really use much setup, so his Calyrex is just going to protect himself this turn, but Ursaluna going to take huge damage. Still Ursaluna survive, lives, though. So That's really important, that Hyper Voice. Voice. Ursaluna will take itself out, but I though. think it's going to take down that Pelipper with it. No, it Wide Guard is. So oh, Wide Guard! Does it, it's even going to hit itself with the Life Orb. I'm not no, sure. No, Wide Guard will block that damage. So Wide Guard actually protecting Pelipper and protecting Calyrex. And protecting Ursaluna from knocking, Ursa from the knocking itself out. But really, Ursula needs to sur won't be able to survive going for the Glacial Lance. Thinking about it. Right now, it's just both players are trying to figure out what's going to be the optimal play here. It's going to set them out, set them up for the most success possible. Looking at the moose out of this Ursaluna, it is just running, uh, yeah, just standard stuff. It's not gonna have any real tricks up its sleeve, so it's gonna switch out, and we're gonna see the Urshifu come back in. Single strike on this one. 
Uh, I don't know if it's going to be able to withstand any of the major threats that you usually see come out. Glacial Land. I think, I think we're really what we're seeing here is the true power of Wide Guard. We've had a lot of matchups where Wide Guard hasn't been important. This is the matchup where you needed Wide Guard, and Wide Guard is, is saving the team here. There's that Glacial Lance. It's going to do a ton of damage. Urshifu goes down to half. Trick Room's still up. Urshifu might not get a chance to go. It's got Sucker Punch. Yeah, this is the battle of the slow Pokemon, so even Urshifu, relatively slow himself, is actually still going to have to use a Sucker Punch if he wants to accomplish anything here. Although, with the Wide Guard constantly being spammed out, it might not even be effective. Calyrex, uh, that's just going to be Ice Type. Is it going to be Ice Psychic or just Ice? It, if it Terra's, it will go into it will go into an Ice Type here. But I don't think either running Terra Ice. You see Terra Fire on Artan's team. You're te seeing Terra Grass on Steven's team. Because if he sucker punches into the uh, Calyrex, that could be pretty decent. In fact, I think this might be what he was afraid of here. We're going to see the Calyrex on the side of Steven swished out back into And there's the Amoongus. The Amoongus. Yeah. Mr. Gus himself. <laughs> Mr. Gus. Protect is going to come out. So that's another turn. He's not going to be able to do too much. He has a wide guard, once again, coming up from Pelipper. And Amoongus just coming in. This is just a solo turn for the Urshifu. And the Soccer punch, punch doesn't do anything. This is a nothing turn. Steven is, Steven is in the flow. He is feeling good. Trick Room is now down. Blood Moon Earth Luna is going to return. Glacial Lance is going to go out. But if he wide, how many wide guards does he have left? I'm not entirely sure. I have not been counting. Yeah, he's been using them basically every turn since the Calyrex has come out. So I'm not sure exactly the PP that this move has. But... Uh, it's about 10, so we're definitely not going to be at 10 uses yet. No, but it's it probably might... PP max, so it's probably 16. Oh, that's true. So he's not going to run out of wide guards anytime soon. Urshifu is going to come back. Blood Moon Ursuloon is going to retake the stage. But it's not really his show, because he's at 16 each. There's the wide guard again. Yeah, this is just such a huge problem to deal with on the side of Artan. You might even consider switching your Calyrex for something else next game, and you could actually see the Annihilate coming out or something else. But this wide guard is just yeah. too big of a problem to deal with. And there's the Spore. Just really Folks, cementing it. Artan is going to have to fight a lot of things to come back here. With Ursaluna being asleep, with Calyrex really not going to be able to hit anything. Going to try and reset up Trick Room, try and make some sort of comeback. It is running Sleep Talk, so there's this very slim chance it could really accomplish something here with this random move it's going to use. It would knock itself out in the process, so either way, this Ursuluna is very likely going to fall here in this turn, but I wouldn't be surprised if he actually even wants to stall it out and get his Calyrex in to get the knockout, so you get Chilling Nay to just really guarantee the victory. Um, really, it could go either way what these players have decided. We're gonna You're see seeing the Terra here from Steven. Steven, we're gonna see Terra, the Terra Mungus entering that dark type form, which really might steal the game. It's no longer gonna be weak to those Glacial Lances. That's true, but in fact, yeah, he doesn't even really need to use Glacial Lance anymore. I am not wide guard anymore, as Ursaluna is gonna go down, and I believe that Calyrex is asleep as well, so. And there's the Spore. And now oh, no, Calyrex no. goes to sleep. It was the Ursaluna that was put to sleep. Now Calyrex is asleep. And this is just a huge problem. Yeah, I don't know if there's an option to come back here for R10. Maybe you take the loss, try and gain that little bit of time, refocus yourself. You have to realize that that Pelipper's got to go down as soon as it hits the field. He's going to play it out. We'll see what he does. Close combat into the Amoongus. It is now weak to those fighting type attacks. He's going to try and set up this, the Trick Room with Calyrex, as that is his win con. Thankfully, he did bring the Urshifu, so you, going to the next game, you are going to have something that allows you to break through these um, wide guard kind of stalls. If you just send out your Urshifu, you can just do a couple of really nasty hits. Yeah. It's a very strong hitter. Calyrex wakes best. up! Oh! Oh, it's not yeah. a rolling that one turn to sleep! Trick Room, he's still in this. Trick Room none goes of these, up. None of these Pokemon can really threaten the. But he is going to forfeit but. as that wide guard is up, and there's not much he can do. Is that his only damaging move? He has close combat, but really yeah. into a Pelipper. What's it going to do? Exactly. Yeah, Glacial Lance.
a close combat is something you really want to do against like a very specific read, like maybe into an opposing Calyrex. That's probably why you brought yeah. it, but against a Pelipper. Yeah, so Steven takes game one there. Incredible draw by Steven. Arten's going to have to take the chance, refocus himself, and figure out what the next steps are forward. Uh, I think one of the next steps, I really don't, I kind of suggested it, but I don't, I really don't think he's going to opt to get rid of the Calyrex. What actually, oh, it's, it's such a difficult choice because if you know exactly what Steven's going to bring to the next game, you could try to optimize here. I wouldn't. I wouldn't put it past him to try something like Smeargle, Annihilate, um, these Pokemon that can buff their teammates. So even if you're not getting the optimal switch-ins, the optimal hits, you're still going to be doing really decent damage thanks to those boosts. Maybe he could go for something like that, like uh, Smeargle, Annihilate, Urshifu, and then you pick one of uh, any of the other ones here. Yeah. Um, he Did he take the Furgraph in that game? I actually don't recall. It wasn't not. The no, he did not no. take the Furgraph. Calyrex, it was Smeargle, Calyrex, Ursaluna, Urshifu. Yeah. So maybe he could try to go for some kind of boost play into all inning on something a little bit more flexible than the Calyrex, but can't really say for sure. The, the issue here is you need an option to deal with 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 that Pelipper. That mm -hmm. Pelipper was doing so much damage, and the wide guards were so effective on blocking Calyrex from doing any sort of damage. So now the question is, how do I deal with Pelipper? And maybe Frigraph is your best option. I mean, Ursula Blood Moon doesn't tech well into it. Urshifu doesn't tech well into it. You have a lot of Pokemon that are just weak to flying type attacks that don't want to sit in front of a Pelipper. Here we're going to see the same lead as before. And I actually, really, I was thinking about it. I think it makes sense to just go for this. The problem really was the fact that he lost his Smeargle. Like I said, he's, he acknowledged himself. He needs the Smeargle to really get things started. Imagine how that game would have gone if... Pelipper was asleep, <laughs> right? If he got a single spore off um, before, I think he Terra grassed into, uh, I'm not sure what move he tried to go for, but it definitely did not go his way. No. Steven immediately gonna Terrasalize onto his Urshifu. That's gonna be the Terra Ghost. Ghost. Okay. Oh, we got the Ghost Bear out. Ghost Bear, and he is gonna be with the Scarf. Yeah. Is anybody, so it's... oh, it's Cinderella. Oh, and it blocks the fake out. What a read by Steven there. That is... And down scary. goes Smeargle. Smeargle is gone again without being able to do anything for the second battle in a row. Really scary. That's an ins that's, that's such a crazy call-out. Like, that's... Like, that's... I'm sorry. That's a really crazy call-out to make. And yeah. it paid off for sure. Like, what an incredible read by Steven. And Calyrex takes half damage. Gets up the Trick Room, thankfully. This is, this is the kind of call-out that you have nightmares over. Oh, what a what a very smart move from Steven. And it guess it's gonna put Artan back on such a back foot he's gonna have to be playing from now. He's already got his Calyrex down to half. No healing, of course. And now he's sending out his Urshifu in hopes of finding an opportunity to get something done. Thankfully, like I said before, Urshifu is your get it done guy. He's a yeah. very capable and strong resilient worker so i'm sure he's going to be able to find the means to get something done but it's just imagine if you get something done but you don't have your strongest pokemon at half hp and you lose out on your real main setup yeah urshifu has to remove pelipper this turn if it does not remove pelipper things are starting to get gonna get really dicey so we have to see Pelipper go down here Terra into the steel probably to resist any kind of uh spore actually no spore would still be able to go through its poison. Yeah, That's but he resists resist those it. hurricanes and he resists yeah. those weather. He doesn't resist the weather ball, but he won't take. He'll take a same amount of damage. Pelipper going for the wide guard. Urshifu is going to hit through it. I really. Oh, There's okay. the glacial lance I mean, blocked by the well. wide guard. You don't want to. You, you actually don't want close combat to connect because it's just going to make you weaker. Um, you don't want to waste your protect. I get, and you honestly don't want a trick room because it just slows down your Urshifu. So there's the wicked blow. Pelipper huge. lives with the focus ash. The so Pelipper will live for another day to get up one more wide guard. But no trick rooms up. That's the important thing. Urshifu is going to be first to go next turn. Um, yeah. Amoongus is not going to be able to get the spore off onto the Urshifu in time. Best case scenario for Steven, it's going to get the, uh, the spore off on one of them after he takes on the Calyrex. But actually, if... Oh. Yeah, Trick Room is still up. Oh, it is up. Yeah, and Trick Room is it, up. <laughs> Where did it even go? I didn't even know it went up. Interesting. Okay, so Trick Room is going to be very relevant. So post-combat does take out Pelipper, but that Calyrex, its defense drops. This is fine. 
Wideguard is down. It does get the attack raised, so we'll have to see if Calyrex can carry the rest of this battle. With that chilling nay, I think so. I think so for sure. Chilling nay is very strong. Here is the scary part. That Amoongus is slower than Calyrex. Mm, it is. With that Amoongus being slower, Calyrex is going to have to try and survive, trying to deal deal with that Urshifu, or suffer going to sleep and taking a few turns to the nap. And now he's got to worry about his own Calyrex from his opponent coming out now. I'm really thinking, do you switch out your Calyrex because it's going to have the reduced stats? It can go for the Protect to absorb the Spore as well as the, uh, the Glacial Lance. So Protect might just be the viable pick here. But at some point, I do think you consider getting it out of the way to recover some of those stats reduced from the close combat. Um, but Protect is going to come out. We're going to see most likely the Spore going to get absorbed by that. And then Glacial Lance, as we probably predict. I don't think this Calyrex has any kind of setup. So, no. But it is going to be the high. That high horsepower power. does a lot. Urshifu is still sleeping. It is still, in fact, up. bedtime for Urshifu. It's got to wake up this turn. If Even it wants it does, to do anything, I don't know. It might. Calyrex is going to leave. Yeah. You want that. You want that Ursaluna to come out so your Calyrex can have some actual decent stats. It gives it the next turn. Can come back to protect. I think you do want Trick Room up still because I think his Calyrex is slower yeah. than uh, Steven's and close combat. But you are losing the Chilling Nay, unfortunately. It's so many give and takes, but you got to pick something here. And I think he did commit to that switch. Unfortunately, you're probably losing your uh, Ursula, your uh, Urshifu, which I just noticed has an ax sticking up the back of its head. A very interesting choice to signify steel typing. But Spore, gonna connect onto the Ursaluna. Spore, very, very powerful move. I don't think anyone's gonna disagree yeah, with that. There's the high por horsepower. Urshifu goes down. Folks, we might be seeing your other finalist. It might be Steven. We gotta see R10 pull some incredible comeback. He's only got one turn to work with, too. But even so, ah, uh, Jesus, is hard. The okay. rain is gone. Trick Room is gone. So now we're playing with real speed. So that means that Steven's Calyrex is faster it's now. It's faster. But they're both acting after. Uh, they're both acting before Amoongus. Yeah. So he's, okay, he's going to go straight up, just go for the Glacial Lance. Yeah, Glacial Lance, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> right? What, <laughs> is what, what right? Earth Luna won't, won't uh, there's the Rage Powder. Okay, right, if he, did, if he did go for the close combat, it would have been Rage Powdered. Yeah. I respect that a lot. Okay. See, I would have lost the game right here and there. But Yeah, the Rage Powder. Earth Luna is still asleep. It does sleep talk. talk. Once again, it's sleep talk. Earth, Earth Power. power. Does that take out Amoongus? No, Amoongus lives. But Glacial Lance, it's going to take it out for sure now. Yeah, because it does take that Life Orb damage. There's the Glacial Lance. Ursula Luna Ursula is going to go down. down. Calyrex on its dying breaths. And you're not going to have a turn to Trick Room. Now, nope. do, do you have a turn to Protect? Uh, does he have any more Pokemon in the back, or is that it? I think that's it. There's the Glacial Lance. How much does it do? Pass. Not enough. It not takes enough out the all. Amoongus. But Steven's Calyrex is faster and will finish the game off with one more Glacial Lance. Oh, man. This is... Spooky stuff here. Very spooky stuff. You got a ghost type Urshifu coming out with some choice scarf. Yeah. We're in regular dimensions. So. And folks, your other finalist for today is Steven Stark. Very well played by Steven today. Unconventional team coming out from Artan, but it worked out in a lot of regards. We didn't get to see the Annihilate, unfortunately. I was a big fan, and we didn't get to see the Smeargle do its thing, unfortunately. Would have been huge to see the Smeargle really work out its niche and kind of fulfill the strategy he was trying to go for. But an interesting team. Liked it a lot, like both of these competitors kind of bringing their A-game. I'm very excited to see what Steven's going to do for us here in the finals that we're going to have coming up soon. Yeah, it's been a great run by Steven. He lost that first game in round four, and his comeback has just been completely dominant. It switch flipped, and he got into the driver's seat and has controlled every match. Mm -hmm. R10 losing Smeargle both rounds there was really hard and impactful on the rest of his team. So I think Steven has been known, knows what to target and knows what to do. So it'll be exciting to see how he matches up into Zayn. We've had some great 
great matches today. Absolutely. That game, again, it came down to, at some points, a single point of speed making the difference um, with those trick room setups and the Calyrex plays. Um, unfortunately, for I thought he's going to end up losing today. But, again, great plays from both trainers. Very exciting. Really embodying the spirit of what we're out here today for. And that's just to see some awesome Pokemon. So, thankfully, we're going to have at least one more match of awesome Pokemon here for you today. If you watch this far, I really doubt you want to miss the finals, so don't go anywhere. That's going to be our grand finals coming up next. Stay tuned.